The surface area of an ice cube is melting at a constant rate of 6 mm squared per second. At time t seconds, the surface area of the cube is s mm squared and the volume is v mm cubed. Find the differential equation relating the rate of change of volume in terms of the cubed volume. Calculate the rate of change of the volume when the volume is equal to 0 0.125 centimetres. So we need to find uh, dv by uh, dt. So here we have our cube. If we just look at this using this geometry reference, so here we've got our cube, and what's happening is, of course, it's melting at a constant rate, so the area is changing at a constant rate. So you can see here, it's actually melting. And this applet I will attach to the notes of the uh, video, so eventually it will melt down to nothing. So here's our cube. So what we need to do is we need to introduce a variable. So in a question like this, you need to draw a diagram. So we introduce, let the side of a cube be L. So this, this is L and this is L and this will be L. Then from that, we can say the volume of a cube is L cubed. So dV by dL, if we differentiate, this will be 3L squared and S will be uh, 6L squared, so the surface area of the six faces in each face is L times L. So 6 of them, so it'll be 6L squared, and if we differentiate that, we're going to get 12L. So we want to find dV by dt. So using the chain rule, dV by dt will be equal to, well, we've got dV by dL, and from that we would need to also find what uh, dL dt is. And we also know that ds dt is equal to ds dl, which we have here, times dl dt. Now we do actually have ds dt because we're told that the cube melts at a constant rate of 6 millimeters squared per second. It's minus 6 because the uh, area is actually decreasing. So if we can take all that information, So using ds dt is equal to ds dl times dl dt, we have that minus 6 from here is equal to 12l times dl dt. So we can find dl dt. dl dt will be minus 6 over 12, which is minus 1 half. So 1 over 2l, once we divide by 12l there. And then also using the fact that dv by dt is equal to dv by dl, and we now have this because we now know this is minus 1 over 2l, we can say that dv by dt is equal to 3l squared times minus 1 over 2l, which gives me minus 3 over 2l, the l squared and the l will cancel. We are told to get write this differential equation in terms of V only. Well, we know that V is equal to L cubed, and therefore L will be the cube root of V. So we can say that dV by dt will be minus 3 over 2 times the cube root of V. So that's part A. Now for part B, if we don't remember what the conversion rate is, if we draw a cube of one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter, one centimeter is 10 millimeters. So we can say that one centimeter cubed is equal to a thousand millimeters cubed. We're given that the volume, we want to know the volume when the volume is 0 0.125 centimeters cubed. This tells me the uh, volume in uh, millimeters cubed, so converting it we get uh, 125 millimeters cubed and therefore v when v is equal to 125 millimeters cubed we're going to have that dv by t is minus 3 over 2 times the cube root of 125 which is minus 3 over 5, 3 over 2 times 5 which is minus 15 over 2 millimeters cubed per second or minus 7.5 millimeters cubed per second. 
Okay, so it's been a video to how to find the rate of change of volume of a melting cube of ice. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching. And I remind you, the GeoGeo applet, I will put in the notes of this video. Thank you.